GE's Optelex software enhancement modules add significant new performance enhancements to your Mark 6 turbine control to improve reliability, provide system diagnostics, help prevent trips, and improve operator productivity. There are four packages featuring 20 modules which complement the power of the Mark 6 control system, GE's most advanced control technology platform. The software enhancement modules are currently applicable for heavy-duty gas turbines only. However, similar software modules for steam, compressors, and aeroderivatives will be a focus for GE. Let's talk about the System Diagnostics Package. Available on the frame sizes shown here, this package aims to improve the operator capability to quickly and efficiently diagnose system issues, thus reducing downtime. Let's walk through the modules in this package. First is Expanded Alarm Help. This module displays expanded alarm details in a separate window, providing actionable information for the operator. In this example, the alarm is labeled as G1.L63TK underscore ALM, which obviously doesn't tell you much. However, if you open the alarm viewer, we can see not only the description of the alarm, but also possible causes, recommended actions, and associated hardware. We can also see that a master reset is not required to reset the alarm. In addition, notes can be added to the alarm help viewer here in the comment tab. Having the ability to customize information provides enhanced troubleshooting for the operator in a more convenient, site-specific format than was previously available. Let's move on to the online piping and instrumentation drawing or online PNID function. This module provides HMI screens based on the turbine system PNIDs. As you can see here, these screens enhance operational information through the use of graphics rather than text, clearly showing device status and dynamic representation of the turbine system. This allows for quicker response to alarms, trips, and failures. The next module in this package is the swirl chart function and graphic. This function will dynamically display the exhaust swirl. The swirl angle is the angle between measured exhaust gas temperature and combustor location. In other words, it's the angle between where the combustion can is located and where the hot gas is hitting the exhaust thermocouples due to the swirl of the hot combustion gases. This is a dynamic relationship that changes as the load of the unit increases due to the increased airflow. Knowing the swirl angle can help in troubleshooting combustion issues. It helps trace the source of the temperature anomaly to a single combustion can. Here you'll see an example of an issue with the combustion cans. Without this module, a technician has to disassemble each can individually to uncover a problem. Instead of doing all the cans, this module requires only two cans to be checked, saving time. Next, we have first out logic. The first out logic function, which occurs when the unit trips, provides a way for operators to quickly determine which Mark 6 e variable tripped the turbine. That is, to see which alarm came first. Here, you can see the trip diagram, showing that seven total trip alarms went off. You can see the indicator of the first trip to occur and can correlate that to the pre-ignition PR pressure. As the first alarm experienced, this was likely the cause of the trip, which will save the operator time in diagnosing the problem. Finally, we have the system reset function. Unlike the master reset, which is a manual push button to reset many alarms all at once, the system reset function clears the sequencing logic latch conditions and resets individual systems. When the turbine is running, the operator can reset systems without triggering a complete turbine trip. The system reset function is only available for inlet bleed heat, steam injection for power augmentation, and wet low NOx injection because these systems can fault and shut down without causing a trip or shutdown. The system resets are a subset of the master reset. Clicking the master reset 
will trigger all system resets, but clicking a system reset will not trigger a master reset. To get more information about GE's Opflex software enhancement modules, contact your GE sales representative or visit our website.